Colombia has been promoted as a regional success story in terms of the growth of its economy and improvements in public safety. What has, what has the country done to make that happen? Well, I think that the most important component of what we have done is that Colombians decided to push back, push back organized crime, push back on drug trafficking, push back on terrorism, and the country united around this cause of recovering our nation, recovering our territory, recovering our rights. Colombia uh, is a very rich country in terms of minerals, land, and uh, so we have the, the components to, to make things happen, but violence was like a deterrence, it was like a Berlin Wall. We really, really need to tear that wall to allow these forces, these economic forces to, to grow, to uh, expand and we're still fighting that, that uh, uh, battle, but the progress has been immense. I mean, many experts have drawn parallels between what um, Mexico is, is going through right now and what Colombia went through in the past few decades. What, what has Colombia learned in the battle against um, drug trafficking and production, and, and what sort of lessons do you think the country has for um, Mexico? I will say that there are three lessons that explain why Colombia was able to, to turn the page and, and move ahead. The first is that we have a centralized police force. And that's, the, that's a problem for many countries, including Mexico, where they have five levels of police force, from the municipal to the federal, and there all kinds of, of interacting, competing forces that are difficult to organize and coordinate and allows for corruption. Uh, the, other, the other lesson that we learn is that you have to pay with your own resources and have the elites pay for improving the overall security picture. Because one of the problems is that people decide to protect themselves and they hire bodyguards and armored cars and build walls and turn around their homes. But sooner or later, the issue of public safety for everyone turns to be the real, the real problem. So you need to commit resources, you need to tax the rich people, and they have to pay for the security, not their own security, but the country's security. Third lesson is that when you start a process of fighting back, organized crime tends to uh, weaken the resolve of the people, doing horrible things and threatening and, tr and proposing ideas that don't work, like legalization or, or peace treaties between the state and the mafias. And uh, it's, 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 easy, it's easy to follow on those traps because uh, the task is so, so huge, so humongous. And during the recent Summit of the Americas, Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos talked about the need to look at alternatives in the way where we've been fighting the drug war. What are some of those alternatives? Well, what we have said is that that's a legitimate debate, but it cannot be used as an excuse to stop doing what you have to do. And, uh, but that's a debate that is actually just starting. And it has to be a non-ideological debate. You need to go to the facts and see what's working, what is not, uh, through experts uh, take, investing a lot of intellectual capital and research. Is legalization of at least some illicit drugs a viable option for a country like Colombia or for the region? It, it can only be done as a global decision. Because if you legalize in one country and not as an international uh, policy, then what you do is to create a haven for, for drug traffickers and organized crime. And everyone will move into that country very happily and operate from there. As you mentioned, we know the free trade agreement with, um, between Colombia and the United States is set to go into effect on May 15th. Uh, what kind of opportunities are there for um, both consumers and business people in Southern California? Well, I have to tell, to tell you and your audience that sometimes I am frustrated by the fact that California thinks that Latin America ends up in Mexico. And uh, I love Mexico, I have very good friends in Mexico, but I think that's uh, an attitude that uh, creates uh, uh, or, or actually allows for missing opportunities and for, for allows for not understanding the potential beyond Mexico. Colombia is l larger than Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Sweden, Switzerland. And uh, we, our income per capita doubled in a decade. 
So we're ready for American products. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Oh, Jill, thank you very much.